Hi guys, so in this lesson we're going to find the distance between a point and a line. Now that might sound straightforward, but it's actually kind of tricky. So the example says find the shortest distance between the point, this, and the line, this. Okay, firstly, let's draw a line. If, in any question, but especially in vectors, if you can draw if you can draw a diagram, it's going to help you. So here's a line. I don't have to draw it accurately in three dimensions or anything like that. Just I'm just going to draw a line. And I'm going to draw a point. There's a point here, P. So I need to find the, the distance between the point and the line. Now, obviously, the shortest distance, it's not like it's not like I'm going to go, oh, that's the shortest distance. Clearly, the shortest distance is we need to go straight over. Well, let me start in the middle here. We need to go straight over to the line. Now, what have I done there? Hopefully, you can see that. This is perpendicular. These two lines are perpendicular because that would be the shortest distance. Imagine if you if you were the the shortest distance p distance between you and a wall. You just walk straight over to the wall. You would walk in a perpendicular line. Okay, so that's P. What's this point here that is on the line? Well. We don't know. Let's call it point A to begin with. Okay, now I said the word perpendicular there, and I said before when you hear perpendicular in a vectors question, you should kind of immediately go, okay, the dot product must equal zero because that is what we have for perpendicular vectors the dot product equals zero. But the dot product of what? So it would be the dot product of this vector, either PA or AP. Um, I'm actually going to go, I am going to go PA will be a little bit easier to do. So we'll do PA dot the direction vector, this one, 1, 3, negative 1. So this vector dot this vector must equal zero. So let's write this down here a second. So I'm going to write P A, P A, that vector, dot the direction vector, 1, 3, negative 1. This dot this has to equal zero. Okay, but what is P A? Let's find P A. So P A, P A is a minus P. Remember I taught you that? I always said that's very, very important. If not, go back and revise your vectors. But PA is A minus P, where A and P are the position vectors of capital A and capital P, respectively. So I have little p. I have the, the um, because P, remember, is 2, negative 1, 3. That's the point. So I have the position vector. The position vector is just 2, negative 3, negative 1, 3 as a vector. But what's the position vector of A? Well, the position vector of A is this, because it's some point, I don't know what it is yet, but it's some point on the line, and all the points on the line have this position vector. So it's actually 1 plus 1 lambda, or 1 plus lambda, 0 plus 3 lambda, so that's just 3 lambda, and 2 minus lambda, 2 minus lambda. That is the position vector of point A. And I'm going to do that minus P, which is 2, negative 1, 3. So this is PA, and this is going to be 1 plus lambda minus 2, which is minus 1 plus lambda, 3 lambda plus 1, which is 3 lambda plus 1, and 2 minus lambda minus 3 is minus 1 minus lambda. This is a minus P or P A. So this dot this must equal zero. Um, let's bring that down here. Therefore, all right, therefore, therefore, minus one plus lambda, three lambda plus one, and minus one minus lambda. This dot this, the direction vector, 1, 3, negative 1, equals 0. OK, let me re-explain why I'm doing this. So I'm, I want to find a la I want to, I want to find the point A. And I know that 
this vector PA, which ends up being this, and the direction vector are perpendicular, hence their dot product equals zero. Okay, now you can see here, once I have a dot product equals zero and one variable, I'm gonna be able to find lambda, hence I'm gonna be able to find um, the position vector A, or I'll even be able to find the vector PA, which is this, or this, this is PA. Okay, so this, the dot product of this times, of this and this is this times one, which is minus one plus lambda, plus this times three, which is nine lambda plus three, plus this times negative one, which is one plus lambda, the negatives make two, negative times negative is positive, and this equals zero. So I'm left with, um, 9 lambda, 10 lambda, 11 lambda, 11 lambda equals negative 1 plus 1 is gone, negative 3. So lambda equals negative 3 over 11. Fine, nearly there. Therefore, I have my lambda. This is PA. So let's do therefore again. Therefore, PA is equal to this with this for lambda. So I have minus one minus three elevenths, three times, three times minus three elevenths, three times minus three elevenths plus one, and minus one plus, because minus minus is plus three, Eleventhths, um, and let's obviously simplify this. Minus one minus three elevenths is minus fourteen elevenths. Minus eleven elevenths. Minus three elevenths. Minus fourteen elevenths. This will be minus nine elevenths plus one, which is two elevenths. And then finally, minus one plus three elevenths will be minus eight elevenths. And let's finish this off. The magnitude of PA, which is gonna be the shortest distance, I told you this wasn't easy, the shortest distance between the point and the line is gonna be the magnitude of this. So it is 14 elevenths squared plus two elevenths squared plus eight elevenths squared. And this, I'm definitely not going to do it on my own. Um, I'm going to use my calculator. Just while that is opening, let's go back here and look at the question. The shortest distance between the point and the line is going to be the distance of the vector PA. Hence why I've gone to all this trouble to find what that vector is. PA is. I could have found the point A using the same method, subbing it. Once I got lambda, I could have subbed it in here and then find, found the distance between the two points. But what I'm doing is essentially exactly the same thing. Um, so let me just move this here. I have a calculator and I'm going to do the square root of um, 14 elevenths squared. So I need uh, I need a bracket and I need this and I need 14 over 11 and I need to close my bracket squared plus 2 elevenths. Let's just do it like this. 2 elevenths squared plus eight, eight elevenths squared gives me 1.4771 1. equals one, 1. 1.4771. 1. That's good enough for me. And that's it. So yeah, certainly guys, I've seen that question a number of times in past, past paper questions. It's it, it actually it's one of those that actually looks easier than it is. It's like the shortest distance between a point and a line. That can't be hard, but 
it is because you have to go through all this all this process so hopefully that makes sense definitely practice one or two of those well no more than one or two practice like seven of seven or eight of them to make sure you know what you're doing okay see you in the next lesson